Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Wednesday of the 20th week of Ordinary Time. Today I am going to depend heavily on women theologians to help me share a reflection with you. The Gospel is about the outrageous generosity of God. It's a story that you well know about the landowner going out and hiring people to go work in his fields. He hires them at early in the morning, middle of the day, later in the day, and then in the end he pays them all the same wage. And all the earlier workers are jealous and angry and upset and feel that they've been betrayed, that the guys that just worked an hour got the same full wage that they got. Outrageous generosity of God is what it's all about. Sister Barbara Reed, a Dominican who is the president of the Catholic Theological Union here in Chicago, says, Gospel justice, then, is experienced not as everyone getting proportional recompense for what they have earned, but rather all being in right relation. A leveling of relationships among human beings is part of the biblical view of justice. And Dr. Megan McKenna, the author that I've quoted before from Albuquerque, New Mexico, she also speaks in the very same language as Sister Barbara Reed. And she talks about the royal family in England. And she says the royal family and the court down through the lords and ladies and the people of the realm is about class and hierarchy, behavior and place. The reign of God is about hierarchy too, about structure and class, but the structure is upside down with the masses of people the sparrows, the poor, the lilies of the field, holding the power. The power base is in the lowly ones. The more power one has in this reign, this realm, the more one is required to become a servant to others. It is a class of downward mobility in Jesus, who came down from heaven to become human and dwell among us in the small ones of the earth. These two women give us pretty good understanding of what this outrageous generosity, Gospel of Matthew, is all about. What does it say to us? How does it impact us? What does it say about our generosity to others? And then I started thinking of one other question of all the, the things that I think I do for God and how close I am to God. I thought, do I want back from God only what I'm worth? Or do I want more than I'm worth? Which comes only from God's outrageous generosity. I think, my friends, I'll choose option number two. God bless you.